Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. So this is Cancer Leo Cusp for the week of July 6th through the 16th. So um, you guys are definitely, you guys feel very balanced um, in, in an overall ener um, energy. There is almost like you, you've mastered, at least for this week, <laughs> that's what I hear. It's like you've mastered both of your energy, right? Like your Cancer and your Leo energy. So, uh, and yeah, that keeps coming up. Like, well, at least for this week. Um, but a lot of... Uh, okay. Let's see if we can put this into words. But no, it's about like, okay, if we look at the aspects, right? You know, they say cancers are like homebody. They're more into family and this and this and that. Fire or Leo is very um, kind of like out there or whatever, right? Regardless of whatever it is, there there is a sense of finding that balance that works for you, right? It may be that at work, your Leo energy has to come out more, right? Um, maybe you are in something that has to do with like show business or something where you are in front of a lot of people, either talking or etc. So there is definitely this sense of like that fiery energy, right? Like here I am, like you can't miss me type of thing. Where when it comes to being at home, whether it is that you have a family or you live by yourself, whatever it is, you need more of that nurturing type of energy. Maybe this is something that that you need within yourself, right? Nurturing yourself more, caring for yourself more, taking care of yourself, that type of energy. But there is, there seems to be, at least this week, that balance obtained. Now, with that being said, there are things that are leaving your, that are leaving your space, your energy. Now, for a lot of you, this is going to include a lot of thought patterns, a lot of, um, unrealistic expectations from yourself so there is somebody here who it's almost like you hold yourself to this extreme type of um, standard that you don't hold anybody else to it's almost like you you've you've lived your entire life telling yourself that it's not okay to make mistakes. And that if something doesn't work out the first time, it's because it's not meant for you. And that's not necessarily true. I mean, intuitively, you will know if something is meant for you or not. But sometimes you have to work at something a couple of times before it's actually successful, right? So, like, let's use this for an example. You go to the gym for four weeks. And you don't see any changes in your weight, right? But you are losing inches. But you're so focused that it's the weight that needs to come down. So then you start or you decide to stop, right? Not realizing that it may take about eight weeks before you actually start to see any physical changes, before that scale actually starts to move. Or maybe you're doing more strength training than actual cardio, so you're building muscle at the same time as you're losing fat, so that's why the scale is not going down. So there's a lot of components to, to reaching a goal, right? So it's almost like realizing a recognizing way I I need to give myself a fighting chance. And if something doesn't work out the first time, then try it again. Maybe there's something that needs to be tweaked. Maybe there's something that needs to be changed. Um, that kind of, of mentality is what you're being asked to, to look into this week. Now, this is very um, strange. They're showing me a bridge um, connecting two sides, right? Um... But the thing is, and I feel like, again, this has a lot to do with the with your two energies and this balancing out that Cancer and Leo energy. Because if we start from the beginning, from the root of it, right, the two are connected at at the root of it, right? So it's almost it's like it's, 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 there's one straight line and then there's another one coming out. But it's like it's not going out like almost like a straight... Um, I got a straight angle. It's almost like curved, 
So you can't see where the starting point is. And then there's just a bridge connecting, right? So what, what I'm picking up with that is, again, this learning. Learning to be yourself without being afraid of of how other people are going to perceive you is one of the main things that allows you, let's put it this way, to stay in a, in a space where you are balanced, right? A lot of times we focus a lot too much energy outwardly as to what, as to how we're going to be perceived by people, right? As to what people are going to say, to what people are going to think. And what that, do, what that does to you is cause inner chaos, right? Because now you're worrying about something that you obviously have no control control over but you can't stop thinking about it you can't stop over analyzing it so then that throws everything off within yourself so when you choose to live your life for yourself right for what it is that your path entitles um, or entails let's put it this way then that that worry of what people are going to say think about me doesn't really come into play anymore because it is irrelevant right because it's something that you cannot change so excuse me guys so as you're coming into this energy of really allowing yourself to be yourself right whether you want to be fiery and crazy and loud or you just want to be kind of relaxed and you want to nurture yourself or nurture someone or whatever it is it is okay there, there are different aspects of you right um as with everyone else and sometimes that fiery type of energy is needed and sometimes you just need the nurturing um energy you don't have to choose one or the other it's like if somebody told you you had to be one way or the other, like, uh, okay, who are you to decide? Who are you to dictate? Who are you to speak over my life? That type of um, energy. So just know that this balance, at least for this week, is definitely very present. Um, and three cards already came out, guys. So these cards, um, these oracle cards are either... In regards to confirmation for the reading or um, maybe confirmation for something else that you need um, to hear. We have the Watcher, which number 16, and is um, transpersonal. The Sky Dancer, for number 48, the Surrender. And then we have the number 23, the Fortune of Wheels, Luck and Right Timing. So again, this balance energy that you're experiencing this week is definitely, you're, you're being asked to surrender to every part of yourself, right? To surrender to, to how things are, to stop over setting um, these high expectations. One of those expectations I definitely um, feel is um, wor the worry that you have over how other people are going to perceive you. With luck and timing, things are working in your favor. Um, and, and I feel that this week, this is definitely going to be something that is going to be shown to you. Either it is that you're focusing mainly on pushing out or accepting the fact, let's put it this way, accepting the fact that you can't control other people's um, view of you, right? And because you accept that and you allow yourself to free yourself, you allow yourself to surrender to that energy, like, you know what? It is okay. I don't have to control everything. It is okay. I don't have to, they don't have to like me. They don't have to like what I'm saying. They don't have to like what I'm thinking. That's fine but I'm going to walk my path anyways. And then when you allow yourself to surrender to that energy that it's okay to be you, things start to change in your life very fast and very drastically working in your favor. Well, guys, that is all that I have for you for this week. As always, thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Thank you to all of those that have been donating. It's greatly appreciated. And if you haven't liked, share, or subscribed, I encourage you to do so. It definitely helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all of that information is down below in the description. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Mwah. Love you all. Bye-bye.